Hello, this is Pamela and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. Well, today's video is Whip Caddy Wednesday and that is works in progress. Um, they can be on a whip caddy like this right here, the three tier cart. They can be um, on a couch, your bed, um, a corner room, whatever uh, that you're keeping your, you know, your crochet whips and stuff like that in. Well, today I like to show those off to you guys. Um, I guess I really don't have but maybe one thing to show that I've been working on, as you guys know. Um, I've been on vacation. I just came back. We went to San Antonio and I had no idea that it was Fiesta week there, but that was um, a lot of fun. They had a five hour parade our last day there. Um, and that was Friday, Saturday. They were having, I think like a, um, in a nighttime uh, parade that was, I heard was supposed to last till like 1 AM, <laughs> but, um, I was back home here in Arkansas by then. <laughs> Anyway, so it was a lot of fun. Go watch my Monday life vlog and I have a little bit of video of that. Let's see. Last night I went to our ladies meeting that we had and it's like every couple of weeks and it's um, your mess, God's miracle. I'll try to include a little video clip of some of us ladies um, at the church holding our book up and stuff like that. Your mess, God's miracle. Cut. Um, I know that, um, in Monday's life vlog, I'll show a little more of that, like the food and things that we had. It was really good. So, um, yeah, just been really busy and doing things. Um, not as much crochet as I need to. So I'm going to get hot on that. I have a lot of things in mind that I'm wanting to do and uh, bring to you guys and I'm very excited about it. So I've got to get started on that. I've been writing my notes, trying to get my planner going and things like that um, so that I can have a lot more tutorials for you guys. I actually am loving it. Um, I do have a new ring light. Um, matter of fact, I'll include that in today's video of the new ring light. Okay, so this is the ring light. It's supposed to attach it's going to attach as a side arm to replace this one right here. That way I'll have a little, hopefully a little better lighting. And so here's like your phone is supposed to sit right here. So we will see how this works. And here are, here's the long arm right there. a lot like the one I have actually yeah it's a lot like it Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to read instructions. Yep, this is exactly what I've got on my other one. Alright, guys, uh, let me get this set up and then I will um, check and see how it works. <laughs> Okay, guys, I have it set up. So, what I end up doing is, I'm not sure if it really makes a difference, but I wanted the this light, the ring light, a little higher up than my camera. So, I've got both of my little gadgets on here. So, I may end up changing it and just trying them out because I haven't actually done a tutorial yet but that looks like probably what I'm gonna do for a little bit. Yeah, and then there's my hanging LED light, which I may try to lower that some too. But 
Yeah, I think I'm, I'll try this out for a little bit and see what I think. I'll go ahead and leave the link um, to on Amazon where I bought this. I think I paid like $35 for it. And um, I'm not sure about this one. I've had it for a couple of years. Um, but it's basically the same thing as this one. It just doesn't have the ring on it. This little gadget here is, you know, different. This has a little ball on it. So it's just a little different. And than that one and if you I want to take the ring off it comes with this extra piece right here to just do camera only if you don't want to do the ring but that's it guys I'm going to try that out hopefully that will um, help my tutorial so I don't have to keep brightening my camera and brightening the video and all that just to make it not so shadowy and so dark but I'll play around with that and see whether I want the camera in the in the middle of the ring or if I want it like this I have not recorded a tutorial with it yet so I'm not a hundred percent sure yet if it's doing me any good I know that looking through the camera and things like that that it you know it seems like it's okay but as far as like is it really helping me is it really worth it I don't know yet so let me re uh, do a re tutorial because usually when I do a tutorial, I have to change my camera settings to where it makes it lighter and things like that. Or when I'm editing it, I have to brighten it because um, it's just not bright enough. I don't know how you get that nice bright look. Um, I'm really working on it. I have a LED light that's hanging from the ceiling. I don't know if that needs to be even lower. I don't, I'm not sure what the deal is, but it's just a little shady. And even when I lived in my other home, I had two different spots that I was doing tutorials in, and it was the same in both. So I am struggling with that, trying to get the lighting right. Um, as you guys know, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, and so it just has to be right for me. I can't put it out there if it's not. And so anyway, I'm really working hard on that, trying to get the lighting right. Once I can get that, I feel like I can just, you know smooth go right through my tutorials i won't have to be sitting there you know fidgeting with the camera working on the trying to get the lighting right and you know because every time you stop the camera like if you record yourself for a cup doing a couple of rows then you stop so you can do a few more rows or whatever and then you come back and record again you got to start all over go back and change the lighting get the lighting right every single time you know it's not just do it that one time and boom you've got it it's like every time you quit Every time you hit the red button to quit recording, you've got to start all over with your settings of, you know, like what, how bright did I have it? I mean, it's just, anyway, it's just a huge mess and it's just, you know, a little time consuming. So if I could knock that out and get the, the light as bright as I need it to be, yeah, things would, would go a whole lot smoother and a whole lot faster. <laughs> anyway, so just grab your cup of coffee, sit back and relax and just enjoy some good old yarny crochet talk. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, I'm working on some headbands for you guys, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, oh, I did not get my stitch of the week out yesterday because I did a tutorial, not a I did a tutorial, <laughs> I did a video for Tamu. They sent me some crochet items and some home good type items for around the house, which I'm very excited about. So I was busy working on getting that video to them. I have sent it, sent that to them, and now I'm just waiting on their approval. So that took a little bit yesterday. Then we had to go to uh, Little Rock, drive out there, and um, get my husband a new phone. He's had his phone, I think, at least 10 years, if not more. And so it's been cracked, and I mean, he's way past due of getting a new phone. So we took some time out, went and ate lunch, and, and took care of that. And um, anyway, and then I had the ladies' meeting, you know, when I came back. So yesterday was pretty full from, from doing that uh, Tamu video and stuff. And so I did not get my stitch of the week out. And so I apologize for that. But, you know, I think I'm going to, I'm still going to get it this week because I really want to do one. I have one. Um, that I was thinking about doing that I may go ahead and do this one this week, but it's this right here. I've been working on trying to do some ripple stitches. So I think I'm going to go ahead and show this to you guys. This will be my stitch of the week. I think it's very pretty. I really like it. So I'm thinking about doing, you know, of course, a blanket with it. 
I'm just not 100% sure yet if I like it for a blanket because of the big hose. So that's throwing me off a little bit. Like, do I really want the hose that big for a blanket? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't like things that my toes and stuff get stuck in, you know? I don't know. So I'll see. But I really like this stitch. I really enjoy working with it. So anyway, I think that will be my stitch of the week. Um, that one right there. Because I think you guys will really like that. And um, it's a, see, two, three, four, five. It's a four row repeat on that. And um, yeah, I really like that. Okay, um, well, the one thing that I am working on um, is a baby blanket, and I have already started the tutorial for it, so as soon as I get it to the length that I want, I've already, you know, obviously got it the width, but as soon as I get it the length that I want, um, I will put a border around it, and I will be putting a tutorial out for you guys. I'm excited about it. Loops and threads. So, if you're having a baby in the future, you got a little grandbaby or niece or nephew coming, um, you're going to want to make this blanket. This will be my first baby blanket to put out on my YouTube channel. So I'm excited about it. So um, here's the back side. Very pretty, isn't it? Even the back side, just, just that is pretty to me. And here's the front side. Very babyish. Very babyish. Look at that. And I've got the sides where they are so straight, I don't even need an edge. So... Watch my tutorial and you'll get your edges that straight. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. <laughs> anyway, um, so look forward to this. Like I said, this will be my first baby blanket that I have on my YouTube channel. So I'm very, and um, it will be a PDF pattern in my Etsy shop. So um, I'm excited about that. And as you know, we have a grandbaby coming, a little girl coming. So um, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm trying to look around. Um, I don't really have anything new. I'm, um, that's about it. So how about I go ahead and uh, show some of the things that you guys are working on because you guys have some beautiful things. And um, thank you guys so much for putting things in my Facebook group page, sending me the emails of um, the things that you're working on and stuff like that. I really appreciate that. And so do all the viewers. We all love to see what each other's working on. And that's what, to me, this whole crochet top, you know, YouTube, Facebook, and all is about is just a bunch of people that enjoy the same craft getting together and sharing. I love it. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what you guys are working on. Okay, first of all, we have Susanna's, and this is my summer top. And she said that she turned it into a bathing suit cover-up for the beach for her granddaughter. I originally wanted mine to be a bathing suit cover-up, but it came out a little too small. So I'm going to have to make another one so that I can use mine as a bathing suit cover-up as well. Great job, Susanna. She used Line Brand Shaw and a Ball Color Prism and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, here we have Natalie's, and Natalie says that the first picture is a cotton thread angel tree topper that's in progress. It needs to be stiffened and the wings attached. In the background is a snowman head that she crocheted during the winter, and she's going to attach to a wall quilt made from recycled jeans in a bed skirt fabric for the backing and piping. And that is so beautiful. And so the second one is the granny square pillow from my tutorial, and Natalie, it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you shared this with us. I love it. I love your color choice. She said that it's done in purples, green, and a raw yarn that she found in her stash that matched the iris blooming outside. This is such a versatile pattern, and the Christmas colors are on the list for another one. Wow, Natalie, thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, here we have Catherine's. Catherine has a crochet baby blanket in cotton. The pattern's by Daisy Farm Crafts. Sheep is crocheted in cotton. It's patterned by Anaya and Octopus crocheted in cotton. All cotton is Hobby Lobby's cotton. Uh, the pattern is by the Friendly Red Fox. Wow, they are just beautiful. Love them. Okay, this beautiful knit blanket is by Mama in a Stitch. The yarn is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. And she also made seven cotton washcloths for her hubby per his request. 
That is just beautiful, Catherine. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Okay, here we have Kim's. This is what she's working on while she's visiting family in Tucson. It is As We Go Stripy Blanket by Hannah Davis. And wow, I love those colors. Wonderful job on that, Kim. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Okay, here we have Diane. She just finished the uh, washcloth for the from the tutorial that I put out last week. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys. I love it. And Diane, I love the colors that you chose. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Okay, guys, that was some beautiful stuff. Like I said, thank you. Thank you for sharing with us. We really appreciate it. Um, let me go ahead and send, show you this little clip of some of Tanya's baskets. She has more. Even her bedroom, she decorates with them so well. Um, but this is what she's got so far. She is um, making a yarn room. <laughs> um, I gave her all of my little black metal um, crate. Type, well, they're not really crates, but they're the black metal cubes. And I gave her all of those. Her and her husband put those up in her a, a spare room that they have. So she is starting her own yarn room. I mean, when someone starts a yarn room, that's huge. Yeah, that means they're hooked. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> wow, just look at these beautiful baskets Tanya has made. Tanya, you have done a wonderful job. And they stand up so well. They are just beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, let's go ahead and read by Still Waters. I may have to put my glasses on for this because it's a little dark in this space that I'm at. But, um, oh gosh, my glasses aren't in here. Let me see. Maybe I can get some light. Okay, does that not bother you guys? All right, I think I can see by that. My heavenly to-do list. The spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him, we cry, Abba, Father. That's Romans 8, 15. Bake a cheesy casserole for my new neighbor. Check. Listen patiently to Aunt Zelda talk about her throbbing gout. Check. Whisk the kids off to school with a Bible verse and a kiss. Check. Look towards the heavens with a grateful heart. Check. Pray for my boss instead of threatening to quit. Check. Okay, another day done. Next. See how simple life would be if God would give us a written to-do list and our, on our mirrors every morning. Then during the night, that list would miraculously renew itself. And we'd know each and every day exactly what we were to do. We could mark off our days and our lives as efficiently as a robot. But we're not machines. We are unique creatures made in God's image. And what we have been offered from God through Christ is not at all like an impersonal daily to-do list. Romans 8.15 makes it obvious that we are adopted sons and daughters. We've been offered loving conversation, intimate closeness, and an eternal relationship with the Most High God. Let us remember daily it is not about the list. It is about the love. Oh Lord, how glad I am that you and I are friends. Amen. Wow, that was just beautiful. And this is a really good book. I'd like to say thanks to my friend Doris. Uh, she used to have a channel called Rose Cottage Studio, and she gifted this to me when she quit her channel. She said that she thought that I would enjoy using this on my channel. And Doris, I just want you to know that I am enjoying reading this on my channel and that all of my viewers that are listening are enjoying it as well. So thank you so much, Doris, for passing this along. Um, well, guys, let's see. I believe that's probably all that I have for right now. Um, <laughs> so just stay tuned. Tomorrow, like I said, I will try and have a tutorial of the little ripple stitch. I'll have that ready. Um, that's, that's it, guys. Um, I have church tonight and it's Wednesday night service. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.